Indicators in the lower left corner show when the control key or the left mouse button are held down. Here we have a graph made of several connected components. We can grab a component with a flick to the left on one of the nodes and then another flick to the right. And now we can move that component. If we pop up the hotbox we can rotate it, scale it, reveal the labels, reposition it. If we're not interested in that component anymore we can go ahead and delete it. It turns out that in this data set there's one large connected component which we can see pretty easily if we just grab one of the central nodes and look at what its component is. Okay, so if we go ahead and select that component, now we can invert the selection and we have all the other nodes selected now. We can uh, declutter the view by del deleting them. And now if we select all the nodes, we can scale them up in size around their centroid, essentially zooming in. And in here there are a few hub nodes which might be of interest. So we'll reposition those hub nodes individually to uh, place them together so that they'll be easy to grab with a lasso uh, a gesture. Just like this. Okay, there are the six hub nodes. Now we can grab only those six nodes with uh, a lasso selection, for example, and we will fix them in place and turn on the uh, force directed layout algorithm so that all the other nodes are being positioned now with the forces. Those six nodes that we selected, though, the hubs, they're fixed in place. We can go ahead and uh, project them onto a circle, move that circle around, scale it up in size. You can see the six hub nodes form the corners of a hexagon now. So we'll reposition that. Uh, to make the hub nodes more apparent visually, we can reveal their labels and change their shapes to diamonds. And now it turns out because, the, because of the way the forest directed layout works, certain nodes end up clustered together. For example, uh, these nodes have been clustered together because their neighbors are the same hub nodes. And we can grab those nodes pretty easily with, say, a lasso curve. Once we've grabbed them, we can fix them in place, uh, move them off to the side, project them onto a line, and scale and rotate that line. And it turns out that all of these nodes seem to have the same neighbors except for the last one here. It's an exceptional node. We can remove that from the group if we like select only that node and then unfix it and it gets repositioned by the force directed layout algorithm. There's also a, a similar group of nodes here which we can grab with say a rectangle gesture and just like before we can fix those in place now, move them off to the side, uh, project them onto a line, scale and rotate that line and you can see most of the nodes have the same neighbors but not all of them. Looks like there's a few on the end here that uh, have uh, additional neighbors. Uh, so we could uh, reposition those individually. We can show the labels of these nodes, scale them up in size more to make those labels more apparent. Uh, we can grab these nodes again and reveal their labels. Again, scaling to adjust. If we prefer, we can project them onto a circle instead of a line, like this, and then rotate and scale that circle. Now in the hotbox there are a few other commands. For example, we can adjust the opacity of the hotbox by sliding on this control. Um, we can also grab all the, the nodes that we positioned earlier. So I'll just grab these nodes again and grab the, uh, the hub nodes that we positioned. And then we can invert the selection so we've got all the other nodes now. And in the hotbox there's a control here to adjust the opacity of those nodes. So if we reduce the opacity of these other nodes and then invert the selection again, now you can see that the nodes we positioned originally are more, are the, well, they're fully opaque and all the other nodes have been reduced in opacity. So again, there's the hotbox. Here we have a group of nodes we've selected and circularized and sort of pulled away from the rest of the graph. Now if we pop up the hotbox, there's a special slider here called Spread Neighbors. If we click on that and drag to the right, we can pull successively further nodes onto concentric circles surrounding the original selection. If we drag backwards, then we, we go back to the initial state. So just by dragging like this, I can pull out many nodes from the network and end up with a uh, arrangement of concentric circles.